Botticelli and... Oh, sorry, what's that? Donatello, you say your name is? Donatello, I've said your name now. Okay, Donatello is... Thank you, yes, my name is Donatello. Uh, for your voice, I have been jinxed before. It's again. true, I did jinx him. I played a little wacky high jinx. Um, but it's all so in rude. the vein of today's experiment. Because yes. an important yes. thing about today is silence. Because we're going to be doing a little bit of nature meditation up in here. Oh. Oh. So I wanted to get your uh, your mind in the right headspace for that with some silence. That was, that was so that was I'm always thinking ahead. So today's project. Uh, was part of the what? Dropping Sculpting Line, I believe, yes. Right kids at the, ages uh, 6 to 13 at the Yellow Doe Studio. Now, yeah. what type of people are we looking for? Well, I think ages 6 to 13 is good, but like, what if you're a little bit older but oh. still have like the mindset of a child? Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good yeah. to know. Yeah. Good to know. Okay, and we're looking for people who are, yeah, uh, imaginative, creative, bold, expressive, and, uh, Ready to get excited yeah, about art. Well, nature this. Yeah, eco friendly. Eco -friendly. So, in today's project, we're going to put on our nature naturalist hat. Oh my god. Where's my naturalist hat? Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, that's all. Ooh, it's Her okay. head's too blocky. It won't fit. Sometimes it does uh, happen, you know? Uh, so. so, in today's project, we are going to work on using the natural world in our creative process. We're going to make Stencils. Yes, nature stencils. All right, let's check back for. Wait, 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 wait. Before we leave, where are they going to do this? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. It's because I lost my naturalist hat. Oh my god. Yeah. You know, you know how things go. So you're going to find a space this time, either indoors or outdoors, depending outdoors on the weather. Outdoors could be fun. Yes. Yeah, you're going to want to find somewhere where you can get a little bit messy. Maybe mm -hmm. get a parent or guardian to help you set up, find a place. But then. Once they've done that. And set up some music, you can kick them out. Yep, kick them out. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. This is only for our naturalists. Mm -hmm. You want to have a place where you feel comfortable mm -hmm. and relaxed, but also a place where you can let your art free flag fly. Yeah. Maybe put up a sign that says art studio. Or if you're outside, you can make a little sign out of sticks so Ooh. that people know. Well, I can go with so, yes. Always so, thinking. Always thinking. So, we'll see you in a second once you're all set up and we'll tell you what you need. A lot of stuff, I'm afraid. Uh, what am I afraid? I really like it. Okay. First things off, what is that wonderful, beautiful palette you have in front of you? It is watercolor. Mm. So you can grab yourself a watercolor palette, or sometimes people have watercolor tubes. That works just well. And with watercolor, of course, comes watercolor brushes. Or if you're feeling fancy, brushes. Yeah. So, and since we're outdoors, you could also actually use yes. sticks or some other things that you find. You could, although they don't really have a brush tip, so that could be kind of difficult. But it could be a creative and exciting new way to do things. And with yes. water color, you're going to need water. Juice. Oh, water. <laughs> I'm kidding. What don't use juice. <laughs> juice. Juice. You can juice always have water. a snack on the side, but do not, I repeat, <laughs> Mix do not your water use color with juice. your water color for your juice. It did not go well last time. I anyway. wonder why the way she is the way she is. Why <laughs> People speak. are curious, right? Oh, and Lord. Here's the explanation. Anyway, as I was saying, mustache. Very important to have a mustache when you're outside because uh, lumberjacks have mustaches. You're going to need watercolor paper. You're going to need some watercolor paper as well. And some sketch paper. And some sketch paper. And of course, the sketch paper comes. Oh, what? I don't know. You don't know? No. Well, is it a pen? No, but with sketch paper comes a pen, pencils so and pencil erasers. Comes an eraser, of these course. are these are special uh, erasers that we have. They're soft erasers, and you can bend them to make certain fun shapes, so they can Ooh. give you tiny little crevices. That's very fun. You can make sculptures out of that. Yes. You're also going to need for this particular project a fun place to explore, a fun and safe place to explore. Yeah, with potentially a naturalist buddy. Are you talking about me? No, I'm talking about the flamingo, of course. Of course. Well, my, my fun natural buddy is Pablo. Mr. Man. Oh, Mr. Man. Uh, Mr. Man. I know a teacher named Mick Man. Oh, that's fun. That's, yeah. that's a funny little thing to throw in here. Uh, there's um, Pablo. So, Mr. Man, Pablo, you've got your art buddies. Now, and 
Don't we need markers? Of course we need markers. Thank you for getting that to before I got to it. Mm -hmm. I was going to say. Fast. We know. We know. Speedy guy. So, you're also going to need, and this is important, you're going to need some sunscreen if you're going outside. You're going to want some bug spray. In the current climate, you might want a little bit of hand sanitizer. Maybe or a mask. mask. And of course, you'll need a hat. You'll need a hat. Naturalist hats are preferred, but any kind of hat will do. Yes. So long as it blocks the sun from your beautiful face. I know my face is so beautiful and oval shaped that I would like to protect it at oh. all costs. You see I think she mixed up her geometry. I think she meant squares. I did excellent in my math class in school. So, so once you have all your stuff, come back to us and we'll tell you what the first step is. Alright, now we're going to go on a little bit of a trip, a little bit of an expedition. Yes. All right, yes, to the outback of your house, the backyard. So, the outback, we're going right. out. You're going to want to, uh, yeah, you got it, thank you very much, Donald. I'll explain the joke for yeah, very slower good. ones. All right, so, so when we're outside. Put on your hat, you're going to want to put on your sunscreen. You're going to want to put on your bug spray, some hand sanitizer, and march yourself outside. Now this is a scavenger hunt. Scavenging, so foraging. You to find anything that seems interesting. These are the mm. things you're going to use as your stencils later on. Ooh, stencils. So nice flat leaves. Mm. Very oh, nice. I found this uh, yellow and pink. Yes. That's white. white Very and lovely. It, it helps if it has an interesting design, mm. like the edge of the leaf is quite crinkly. Rocks have nice. Rocks will be wonderful. Anything yes. that where you find the texture to be texture. interesting. So like Ooh. some moss, perhaps. Ooh. Some grass. Really interesting. Maybe a pine cone could be created. Pine cone. Not quite acorn. that. An acorn. 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 acorn has nice little yes, designs. Yes, the little designs. All right. So once you're done with your very investigative, mysterious scavenger hunt, mm -hmm. meet back in your studio, and we will explain the project. Mm. All right. So for this, we have two projects. So the first two. project. Well, it's all one project, but we have two different... It's two steps, two... Two different art pieces we're making. We're going to use two oh. different pieces of paper. Okay. So if you have more than one piece of watercolor paper, you can use it for both. But for this one, you just need some paper. Regular sketch paper. Regular sketch paper or watercolor paper. Either will work. This is more of, you know, we're getting the handle of things. Okay. 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 So I'm going to grab one of my interesting nature objects that I've foraged. Lovely. So you're going to want to grab one of your most interesting flat shapes. It could be a leaf, or perhaps it could be a rock, or some moss, whatever it is. You're going to want to take your watercolor brush, dip it in your water. Surprising, right? Yeah, I wasn't expecting that one, actually. Yeah, dipping watercolor brushes in water, it's, you know, this one's a little this slow. This one's new age. Right? Like, so, I'm on guard. Precisely. So now you're going to want to grab your watercolor and dip it in whatever paint you want. This is all about just relaxing. This is kind of your nature meditation. You can put on some spa music if you want. Put really on like. some spa music, take some deep breaths. This is all about chilling out. So what color are you going to choose? Ah, uh, Donatello. Purple. Her purple. favorite. Is that kind of a relaxing color for you? Oh, it's so relaxing. It's got like the deep, tranquil blues mm. with the, the invigorating reds. Ah, oh, love it. Wow, you sound really passionate about the color purple. Very passionate. Uh, purple. Dunch. Anyway, I mean, so what's colors? The color uh, purple into like a thing. Okay, you uh, know what? What's what's your color? Uh, well, let me tell you. But first, let me ask you. What what accent is your color? My purple. Hmm. Hi, I'm feeling a little Irish. Irish. You're Irish purple. Oh, good, lovely. Um, Gosh. what I'm about you? I'm going to do a little bit of like um a pink, I think. Ooh. Yeah, like what, a little bit of hot pink. What accent is your pink? I think my pink is a like a very natural kind of accent. Like I'm the kind of person who just lives in nature. You know, I feel like it really fits the the vibe of this project. So what you're gonna want to do is trace in your watercolor the outline of your leaf, and you're just gonna you're not gonna want to do it once. Cause like here I've already done this once. So that's like boring. What you're going to want to do is do it multiple times. Move that leaf around and keep doing the same pattern. 
And then it becomes kind of like a, a meditation, if you know what I mean. Do, do we have to stick to the same I, I, uh, uh, item? Item? Yeah, I mean, okay, you could, but like you could also use multiple. It's all about getting creative, man. You know, about embracing the natural vibe of Mother Earth, am I right? So like, use multiple if you're feeling it. Um, but if you want, just just repeating the same one over and over again is like cool. You can get yourself like a nice like trippy pattern. You know what I mean? Oh lord, these kids these days. Yeah, yeah, man, your accent's really kind of freaking me out. Like <laughs> my brain is having a little bit of trouble handling it. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay, guys. We're we're gonna keep on going. So why don't you check back to us once you've had a nice. Relaxing, cool, groovy meditation, mm -hmm. folks, and then we'll move on to the next step. So, we've got our stencils. Wow. Are you okay? They look real bad. She's totally, it's totally uh, fine. Right, so like, this I'm is really seeing worlds in it, you know? By the show. It's actually great. really relaxing, man. Where did my, where did my shy Irishman go? Seems like he went. He went to the pub. He'll come back in a little bit. He's got to wake it up. My, uh, my nature person will... It's a little too slow. You know, the color is gone. The accent is fading. Yes. So All right. So what did you do? I did I did a lot of different things. I've got my big leaf. I've got... This is a rock. This is a different petal. This is a different rock. Oh, very cool. I went... Yeah, a little different. I did more of the same thing over and over Ooh, again. that's good. Yeah, so it kind of becomes this pattern, kind of interesting. That's, yeah. That's so now cool. that you've uh, had a little practice it in, you're going to want to grab your, you know, a little practice it in. Oh, my favorite practice it in. Exactly. And you've done a little meditation, got yourself all chilled out with your nature meditation. It's time to do the real thing, right? Yes. So grab yourself a piece of watercolor paper. And I'm going to say something a little crazy. Oh, God. What? We're going to use markers on our water. You're telling me you used watercolor on the sketch paper, and now we're using markers on the watercolor paper? What can I say? I'm flipping the script, I'm turning it upside down, I'm in control, and I'm getting crazy. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so use markers on the watercolor. It's a big bag. And do you want to know what we're going to draw? What are we going to draw? Just some totally awesome fun designs. You're going to want to fill up basically your entire piece of paper. Okay. With some designs you can get geometric in it. Ooh. If you want to get a little bit more loosey goosey, a little bit more hippie, you can totally use some tubular. like totally tubular flowing designs. Psychedelic. Some like tie dye designs if you're Ooh. feeling it. Or you could do some some triangles, kind of like. Or you can use squares, like uh, Botticelli said. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll see. Yeah. It's okay, we all misspeak sometimes. So you're going to want to grab yourself a bunch of colored markers, just go crazy, have a bunch of fun. And come back to us. It can take as long as you wanted to. Put on some music, have some fun, yeah. and we'll check back. Do it. So, how was you? I hope you guys had fun yes. coloring in. I know I did. I'm just putting on the finishing touches, and there we go. So I did this kind of uh, very Ooh. abstract. I looked at outside, and I said, it's "These like are the a, colors I see." A color hurricane. Yeah, color cane. Color cane. That's what we did. What about you? What'd you do? What I did was like a little bit more groovy. I took some inspiration uh, from my character Ooh, earlier. Groovy. And I did some kind of totally tubular uh, situations up here with some, some rainbow effect and some kind of like twisty twist. Twisty twisty. Twists. I think it'll look really cool once Yeah, that's nice. I like oh, it. Yeah. What's the next so, up? For the next step, I have a little wrap oh, to okay. explain. You want to go for it? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna want a stencil with your pencil out. That was wonderful. I'd like uh, some applause, please. Thank you. Tupac Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's exactly what I was thinking. So you're gonna want to make some stencils mm -hmm. with your pencils as okay. we just wrapped. Um, so grab yourself a pencil and grab yourself uh, a leaf or whatever. You can grab some rocks. And for this one, you can use a myriad. Uh, myriad? More than one, a bunch, uh -huh. um, different uh, kinds of things to make some stencils. So basically, you're gonna do what you did for this project, but you're gonna do it in pencil, and you're gonna do it on top of your drawing. And it seems a little weird now, but I promise you, it's gonna look cool once Exciting. you're done. Exciting. 
Okay, so check back when you're done. Oh! No! No! Alright, welcome back. So, now that you've finished, or, or almost finished, like Donatello, Aha, you can't nice. see what we have done, but I trust you understand it's there. the concept. It is there. It's a little bit hard to see because it's in pencil, of course. The stencils are in pencil. Stencils so, pencil. what you're going to want to do now is you are going to want to take your watercolor brush and your watercolor, and you're going to want to dip it into the black watercolor. And now this is the part where things get a little bit spicy, okay? Ooh. Things get a little bit tricky. Oh, before before we get into this, so where's that Irishman? Where'd he go? And also, where's Pablo? What happened to Pablo? We haven't found him yet. Oh. The Irishman is out looking for him. Okay. okay. If we ever find Pablo, the Irishman will come back. Sounds. He declared never to come back until we until find Pablo. Until we find Pablo, I think that's understandable. So since we're using a different so color, so we fill oh, in the the senses, right? Well. No. What? I know. It's a little bit crazy. Instead of filling in the stencils, we're going to fill in the negative space. But, what? What's the negative space? Okay. Let me explain. So, if we had an oval, for example. Like so my like head. Okay. The negative space would not be the inside of the oval. It would be the space on your page around. So everything but the shape. Everything but the shape. And so you have a lot of shapes on your paper. Yeah. So you're going to color everything but the shapes. So you're not going to put it inside so the rock or the color paint. shows through. So the color of the painting or the markering, if you will, that you did will show through. That's so cool. So now that we're painting with some, some black paint, what's what's our accent? This is it. We're going to go like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know if that, let me, let me translate. I think he said, we're going to go like this. <laughs> he said that uh, Botticelli is the greatest and uh, that we're going to see you back after you've had a chance to paint in the negative space. <laughs> he said that's exactly what he said and that I'm always right. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But I get the feeling that that's not quite enough 
enough to really illustrate this product. Like, ours are fine, but like, I think I'd like to see some more options. Well, do you have any advice for where we can go to do that? Well, I think the kids in the studio probably did a better job than us. You know, that's totally possible. I think I think Pablo was making something in the studio as well. Oh, he was here. grinding. Yes, he sure was. So, let's, let's go, go to the, the studio! studio. Woo!